Hey guys, and welcome to Opal and Knit. I'm Ashley. I'm Kylie. She's Kylie. She's been sick, so ignore the snotty sound. Yes. Yeah, so um, well. But we are sisters, if you didn't know. We are 16 years apart, and we both love, well, we both love a lot of the same things, but we both love art. And today we're going to an art supply store in Dallas called, do you know what it's called? Jerry's something? Artorama. <laughs> we're going to Jerry's Artorama. I went this past weekend with my husband and mother-in-law and I had to take her. So we're going to go show you a little bit of behind the scenes of us getting some art supplies. And then maybe when we get back home, we'll do something with the art supplies. We shall see. But <laughs> uh, we just want to bring you along kind of vlog style. See some of our goofy interactions. We are... Um, quite hilarious sometimes with each other like we just we can never catch it on camera though I know we have a hard time we say things at the same time sometimes and then we look at each other like we're just weird all right but uh yeah we're grabbing lunch real quick and because you know we can't shop on an empty stomach right no we'll both pass out <laughs> so yes we will see you in Jerry's So we got our goodies from Jerry's Artorama. How did you like it? I liked it. There was so was... much. And then we checked out and then we found more and then we <laughs> checked out. We're like we have to get out of here. Yeah. So this is my second time here within the past like five days. <laughs> and I've spent like $300 now. Yeah. It's very easy to spend a lot of money really quickly and you don't even have to buy that many things. No. Especially if I bought that watercolor paper I wanted that was like 70 bucks. 
Ugh. The just the colored pencils and then like the three three markers I got was yeah. fifty something. 50, yeah. Oh, and some little pencils, but those were like yeah. But they have so many different brands, so much like high quality stuff and it's so much fun. So we're gonna go home and, but they actually, the lady was so sweet and gave us a free little sketchbook for Kylie. That was so sweet. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go home and we're gonna play with our art supplies. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. So we made it back from Dallas. Shall we uh, dig in and show what all we got first and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do. Okay. Because we didn't get to film in the whole, like it felt kind of weird filming um, in the, in the store. Oh, in the store. In the store, like I, I felt, well, I didn't know if it was allowed, so I felt like the <laughs> employees were watching. But anyways, okay. So I got two brushes. Um, obviously, very very different sizes for different things. Um, I'm currently painting a mural in my son's room, which I probably will do like a, um, you know, I've taken time lapse of it. I, when I finish it, like we can put a video up of the process of that yeah yeah but um i am to the point where i'm doing a bunch of foliage bushes and ferns and stuff and i figured this one would be beautiful for that this is actually it says mural is the brand maybe it's a size 30 white nylon filbert creative mark so i'm excited about that i love the color of the handle and the bristles are nice and then i got this one for watercolor it's again i like the handle um Clearly the color of the handle matters to me. <laughs> but this is a me mimic mim mimic mimic brand round size four brush. And I think it's a synthetic I don't remember if it was a synthetic squirrel or a synthetic it was something synthetic though. <laughs> Anyways, it comes to a very nice tip. So I'm excited to try that. You wanna show something you got? Sure. <laughs> sure. So Kylie and I like different types of art. Yeah. She's all about uh, coloring, shading. I, yeah, I love coloring. I'm Markers I like, and pencils. I like to draw as well. I'm just not very good at it yet. <laughs> She's working on it. I'm working on it. I got some Prismacolor colored pencils because I don't have any, and I've used some of hers, and I like them. She was like using She's like, ooh, it's so <laughs> yes. it's like silky. Yes, because I grew up using Crayola stuff, and it, it – it's not, not the same. It's not the same, and it's not very good. So it's, it's, not really good. it's just a nice, a basic set. Nice basic set of colors. Doesn't have anything super fancy, but it's got the the basics. It's got the basics. And then I got I got too many things. So since I'm painting a jungle mural, I'm running low on my mural paint, and I saw this, and so I thought I would give it a try. It says urban artist, so I'm assuming it would be good for murals, but. But I'd see how it looks. I need to see if it's matte or not because I don't want a shiny finish. So I'm going to test that out. I didn't get a big one because I didn't know. So what else do you get? I dumped it back so I don't have to keep that in the bag. Oh, the pretty thing. Probably a good idea, honestly. Honestly. You know, I feel like color. the, you know, the Bob Ross intro with the big brush. I mean, yeah. it's like way bigger than this, but it's what it feels like. Okay, we'll do a transition with yeah. the... All right, show us something else. I like she said. I like to color, and uh, I, I would say recently, I, I would say recently, discovered that alcohol uh, markers are very much fun. Very much fun. <laughs> very much fun. So Far I superior. So I got three pastel pastel Artfinity markers. They were I had never heard of that brand before. I think she said they're their in store. I think brand, it's their so in, like... in their in store brand. Yeah. But I got a blue green color and we'll, we'll swatch, swatch them later yeah They're, these are all very pastel and pretty because i have a set of ohu markers which is like an amazon brand and none of them are very light and pastel so they're very bright so i wanted some nice pastel-y yeah markers then i have deco peach and light cecilian blue cerulean cerulean cerulean, blue. cerulean. yeah Okay, and then I wanted to round out my Daniel Smith watercolor palette. I started it this past weekend when I went to the store, and I needed three more colors. One my mother-in-law bought me, but I decided to pick up two more, and I wanted a green and a purple. <laughs> I felt like I needed more green and purple in my life. So um, this one is Persian. Per Persian. Persian? Persian? It sounds wrong. Per wait. Per That's Persian. how you say it. Persian. Persian? Persian. Prussian. Prussian. I'm thinking of Bob Ross saying Prussian blue. 
Whatever. It's it's green. <laughs> it's green. <laughs> and I'm going to swatch it later. And then I got a purple in Imperial purple. So I got those two as well as I've been wanting a white gouache because with watercolor, you can't just put white on top of something. It's really hard to um, leave those highlights. And so sometimes I just want to reach for a white gouache and I never had one you actually. You want to gouache it. And yeah, you got to put the gouache over so it'll... <laughs> It'll uh, cover. Gouache is but, such a fun word. I know. But I got the Holbein white gouache um, in permanent white, and I actually don't have anything from Holbein, but I've actually heard their gouache is good, so I figured I would give that a try. What else did you get, my darling? I also got these. We show these at the same time since we got these colored, more colored pencils. These are woodless. These are woodless. Is Progresso the name of the brand? It kind of looks like it. Yeah, Progresso is the. They're, they were like forty six cents a piece or something. I think they like were fifty three or, or eighty three. Like they were, I don't know if they were 50, different. Fifty eight. I don't know. 50 cents. 50 they were cents. under a dollar each. They were under a dollar each, and they're just woodless. All, yeah. I don't know that it's focused on it, I, but it doesn't look like it was. What if we did this? <laughs> Would that focus on it? Is that focused? Yeah. On it? <laughs> yeah. So those are the colors you got. They're beautiful. Yeah. I already had the purple one, so yeah. I got an array of some other ones I wanted ones to see to what this out. looks like, too. This that's, like, that's beautiful. It's pretty. It was kind of tucked in the, the corner, so. Yeah. And we almost got out of the store. Yeah, so we but... were about to leave, and then I saw the corner of my eye. I'm like, are those Copic markers over there? Yeah. So we went to the marker section, and we didn't see Copic, so we're like, they don't have Copics Yeah, here. we wanted and Copic. <laughs> and that's, we found the art fan. And then we instead. saw them over in the corner. They were up by the counter, like, up tucked by the away. Counter, and we were, like... So they can keep a close eye on those. <laughs> yes. Because, well, they're, they're not cheap. We, I saw the expensive price tag. I said, those are Copic markers. Yeah. So I got a couple of Copic markers. So I bought you a couple yes. of Copic markers. Yes. <laughs> you got a couple of Copic markers for me. I got... Oh, beautiful purples. Lavender and uh, Heath. Heath. Lavender and Heath, and they're very pretty, like, dusty colors. Yeah. It's so like we'll a, swatch all like those out. dusty purple, and then this lighter yeah. dusty. All right, then to round up what I got, I got two more kneaded erasers. I the, I love the kneaded erasers. Kylie doesn't like them so much. It's It depends. Um, because I, they have no structure to them. I don't I don't like them for completely erasing something. I don't time. know. I, I normally just sketch for, I lightly sketch for my watercolor paintings and these work beautifully for that. And you can like mold it. And I also like playing with them. Like I need <laughs> them and mold them into shapes. I just think it's fun. It's but, silly putty. but I got two different brands. I got the Prismacolor and um, this is Creative Mark. So yeah. Um, I think, and it's not that I just haven't used them much. I lost mine that I had. I Do you want know. one? They're like a dollar. You have one. <laughs> okay. Um, two other things. Well, three kind of. Um, I got a fine liner from this brand. Um, it's called Stabilo. Um, here's the brand. Um, I just liked the way it looked, and I tried it out on the paper, and um, I like that. So I don't know if it's waterproof. I like to sometimes outline my like cartoon watercolor things. <laughs> Um, yeah. And I use fine liners for that. So there is one in there, though. Can you see? Yeah. That I just, like, sketch out with a... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is your first one. Yeah, this is my very first watercolor book. Okay. And then, speaking of sketching, I wanted a sketching pencil, mechanical pencil. Um, so I thought I would try this one. This is Pentel Graph Gear 500, mechanical drafting pencil. Um, it's a 0.9 millimeter, and I don't know the lead in it, what I don't know what the right word is, the letter. <laughs> what letter? So I don't know what the darkness is of. Oh, that's pretty dark. Yeah. Um, but I got a very very light lead in H, so um, hmm. I can put that in there. But I like the feel of it. Yeah, that one looks dark. It yeah, does. Let's try. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, it's definitely lighter. Okay. So, anyways, there is that mechanical pencil that I will try out when I'm sketching my watercolors. Okay, so we're gonna rotate the camera, put some paper down, and swatch all of the lovely things. I'm gonna start with the 
art and these markers that I got that are from that store. And I'm going to start with the blue green, which is a BG32 color. So I'm going to just smudge it right here. It's a very pretty light mint green color. And now I'm going to swatch the light. How did you pronounce that? It's not it's cerulean? Cerulean blue. Cerulean blue. Yeah. So B42 is the number on that one. Move it. I guess we can move this now. It's blocking the light. Yeah. We could move that now. Yeah. Oh, there's so much better. You can see. Okay, you can see it now. This one's not as pastel, but it's a nice light blue still. It's a nice pretty That's beautiful light blue. We have Deco Peach, which is R71. Very pretty. This looks gorgeous with that mint color. Nice, like, a nice little section of yeah, pretty colors. Alright, go straight into the Copic ones and see how they compare. Yes. Talk about the differences if you can. I'll swatch the lavender first, which is V06. You can hear the difference. I saw your mouth <laughs> drop. She went like so, she just so okay. You can hear the so let me see if I can get close and see if we can get audio on that. Alright, so that was the art what? Finity. The art finity marker. Art finity. So let's try now a copic. See the difference. That's hilarious. It's so smooth. I think part of it too is the the nib. The tip is the nib on it is more like, flexible. It's more flexible and soft. So it's like a so it's it has instead a, of a ch -ch 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 -ch. it has a very flowy to it, and then the yeah. nib on this one is a little bit more stiff and doesn't have as much give to it. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, let's so um, swatch the last Copic one now. I'll swatch the last Copic, which is the Heath V zero one. I think you're also lighter hand with those, just because of the feel. Do you know yeah. what I mean? The other ones, you're a little bit more aggressive, but I think it's because the so the experience of the marker <laughs> is well, so much better. I'm lighter with this too because it is more flexible. Yeah. So I don't have, like, I don't know if I push harder necessarily with this because I'm still being light. It just is, um. Sounds scratchy. It just sounds scratchier because it, yeah. it's not as soft. Like you described in the store, it's not that velvety. Yeah. Tip that yeah. the Copics have. Okay. So real quick, I'm just hand holding this now because it's easier let's get our little woodless colored pencils here and Kylie is more um delicate with her swatching you will see I am not quite so delicate um I like to just feel around I and yeah I understand the markers I don't want to run out of ink before I even color I understand that so <laughs> um there is the blue of the progresso and then I like to like see how it builds up too. So Kylie, why don't you grab, let me swatch a couple of these. Do you have a color I don't, the light blue I don't have, mm -hmm. and that other pink? Mm -hmm. Okay, so why don't you come right next to mine and swatch those if you will. I have the lighter blue and then that like deeper pink. And the lighter pink you have. I have the light pink, yeah. So if you can oh, swatch there. It's gonna be a weird angle. So swatch, however, is comfy for you. I actually love this brown shade. It's a very neutral brown. I haven't used pencils in so long. Um, it'll also be interesting for you to swatch your Prismacolors yeah. after swatching these. <laughs> it's a pretty color. Sorry, it's a weird angle for me. You're good. I love to just see how they um, bright, you know, like the... Um, yeah shade and light. And I know. Okay. I didn't, uh, again, this no, is you're good. You're a, weird, good. a weird angle and I have not used pencils in a while. 
Okay, so here is the light pink. Um, it's just called pink. <laughs> it's pink. It's very boring. So what is this? This is... I don't know how they call this a light violet. This is not how I would describe, it. describe that. So the cool things about the woodless ones is you can... <laughs> that was satisfying for you, huh? That was really cool. Use the whole side for shading. And so that's the appeal of these for me. Ooh, that yellow is nice. It is, isn't it? Did you get it? I did not. I was just grabbing because it was we were at the checkout. Yeah. So. That, that's... <laughs> See, and you got... Oh, that's the same color, isn't it? Did I? Did you get is one? This one? Is that this one? Mm-hmm. It looks it looks so different on than the the Yeah. Outer. Well that's why I was looking at that. Yeah, yeah. When I I love it's this gonna be blue. more accurate. This blue is so pretty. That is a really pretty blue. I don't I can grab a dark blue. That's so funny how we had such different well, I, like I said, I was just Okay, grabbing. so the last one is the purple. I have it over there, but I didn't get it today. So go ahead and swatch the purple. Oh, that's pretty, though. We'll swatch a few of the um, Prismacolors as well. Yeah. Isn't she gorgeous, folks? <laughs> <laughs> and there are the Progresso Woodless Color Pencils. So Kylie's going to swatch some Prismacolors here. And then I'm going to swatch my paints here. Um, let me go get that stuff out and then we'll wrap up. Okay, so while I'm swatching these, I'm going to test out the new brush that I got from Mimic. Let's see if this tip is really as fine as I think. And we're going to start with the Prussian green. I'm just going to go straight onto the paper with it. Oh, my Lanta, that color. Mm. Let me get a little bit more water. That's really pretty. And... Love Daniel Smith colors. This is very blue green. It is very, but it's oh, it's so pretty, right? Yep. Oh, it's so pretty. That's gorgeous. Okay, so that was a good purchase. <laughs> <laughs> now let's try the Imperial. I don't like using them when they're still wet. I like to wait for them to cure, but we're going to swatch it anyway. <laughs> Ooh, that is pretty purple. Ditto, chica. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is very pretty. So we'll see how those dry. The blue one is green, whatever. The green one is definitely moving a little bit more. Let's see if I can push the purple around. But And um, I think I like the brush. It's, I haven't used it for like any, but it, the tip looks like it's going to be really nice. So... All right, so I'm gonna close this up, let that cure. Here's the progress over here in Kylie Town. <laughs> I'm, I'm a slow swatcher. I... You're good. Here is my mechanical pencil here. I definitely think I would sharpen these before using them. I have a Prismacolor sharpener. A Prismacolor sharpener. This is where you say, of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. You have a lot of Prismacolor stuff. I happen to be a fan. A Prismacolor. I do, I like Prismacolor as well. I have their um, sketching. I have their sketching. Their sketching. Okay, I'm going to see if I can open this. I'm going to try and swatch this acrylic paint to see. Okay, so I'm going to swatch this acrylic to see how it dries, if it whoop, if it dries matte or not. So I'm actually just going to take this brush and smear it around. It's a very creamy consistency, though. All right, so that is basically it. If you want us to do a video on any specific kind of art, again, we like to sketch, color, watercolor I love, mural. If you want to see a video on the mural I'm working on, it's a jungle in my son's bedroom. Um, but yeah, just let us know what you want to see. We will probably be doing a lot of vlogging style videos of us just being us, and that could include anything. So. So um, if you want to see us doing something silly together, yes, leave like interesting video ideas down below. Yeah, so there's just anything with my sister is fun. So whatever you want us to do, uh, that's not true. We won't do whatever. No, no, no whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to bring you along for our art shopping trip. 
and show you all the goodies that we ended up picking up and I think that's all. Opal and Mint is still an evolving concept. Yeah. Uh, I mean, technically we are a brand. There is something that we are wanting to do and we've just been running into a bunch of difficulties with finding the right location for it. So until we have a building and a location, we're gonna be doing some fun YouTube videos and art inspired and themed things. So if you wanna see more of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're gonna have some fun stuff coming your way soon. Some videos may just be me, some may just be Kylie doing our own like specialties because Kylie doesn't enjoy the watercolors as much as I do. And I don't enjoy all of the coloring and different things she does. I also do uh, digital. Also, she loves doing digital art with Procreate, and I. I'm still working on that. That's that's. Still I. Uh, I prefer. She t prefers traditional art, but I'm yes. also a gamer, and I like. Yeah, she likes anything electronic. I so. like electronic stuff. Yeah. So, any anything in any of those realms, uh, we may even film a video of us playing video games together. This is not a video game channel by any means, but um, it would mostly just be to laugh at us because of the things we say when it we're is talking. It's funny when we play games together. It's quite hilarious. So <laughs> yeah, stay tuned, come along for the ride. Opal and Mint is here and I'm so excited to get this going and see where it goes in the next few years because I'm hoping we will have an actual location in the next, let's say two years. <laughs> it's so hard to find something right now. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy this, guys, please give it a thumbs up. It will help us out. It will help us grow, help us get this channel going. And don't forget, subscribe to see those future videos. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. We need to have like an intro, a really cool like intro of like watercolor moving on. The... Can you do stuff like that in like Procreate or animation stuff? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I have not played with that yet. Because you could have but like watercolor going and then, and then our the logo, logo. coming <laughs> up. It's well, knock it over. Don't knock it over. <laughs> or all lead pencil thing and it snapped. Hey guys, and welcome to. Oh, why are you laughing at me? I'm not laughing, I'm smiling. I heard. <laughs> I'm still going down and I was trying to get you switching it. <laughs> Out of Dallas, man. Opal and Mint signing off. <laughs> <laughs> That's a blooper right there. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah.